The Holy See and the State of Israel established full diplomatic relations back in 1993, but another agreement was left pending. Since 1999, both states have been negotiating issues surrounding the legal status of the church in Israel and that of its parishes. What the negotiations are about is bringing up to date the rights and privileges of the Holy See or the church in Israel that were established in the 19th century by the Ottoman Empire. Still today there are many problems with taxes and with with the status, the judicial uh, status of the churches. So this is something which is very urgent. This and other topics were discussed during a forum organized by the Pontifical University of the Holy Cross. Negotiations on the legal status of the church began back in 1999, but for years there was little progress. Raymond Cohen says part of that was due to the violence in the country. In Jerusalem they had a lot on their minds. Buses were blowing up. Um, I love going to the market. It was bombed nine times. So we didn't have a whole lot of, you know, attention for the negotiations. But since 2006, the negotiations have uh, made very good progress. Christians are, of course, a small minority in Israel. Some predict there are roughly 170,000 Arab Catholics in the country. But Cohen says the total number of Catholics is actually much higher. More than likely, there are probably between three and 400,000, since the state has many Christian immigrants. There are also hundreds of thousands of uh, immigrant workers from the Philippines and from India. And also there's a Hebrew-speaking Catholic community, which is not really known about. Even though these negotiations have been going on for 13 years now, it seems like something could be finalized relatively soon. Another official meeting between both states will be held in December of 2012 in Israel.